Good afternoon and welcome uh, to From the Desk of Dan Wood, our monthly update uh, from our office. Uh, it's been a crazy year. You know, uh, the Fed continues to raise interest rates. They did pause last month. But all that being said, uh, the S&P 500 is up 17.3% year to date. And the NASDAQ is up a whopping 34.8%. So, you know, what gives? You know, we, uh, the Fed's been raising rates trying to get inflation under control. Um, they seems to be working. Last report was it was down to 3%, so all is well. Uh, but there's a couple things that still concern me about, about what's going on here. I mean, housing is probably still, housing makes up 34% of CPI. So it is the elephant in the room. And housing is still what's driving everything up. Believe it or not, you would think high interest rates would would kind of torpedo the housing market, and that has not happened. Um, what we're finding is there's no supply. There's still no supply for houses out there. There's a lot of buyers. And the reason there's no supply is these interest rate hikes. You know, when people locked in on a mortgage at 2%, and now mortgage rates are 7%, nobody wants to lose that 2% mortgage. So consequently, nobody's putting their house for sale, which means... If you list your house, you're going to get 10 offers and they're all going to bid over asking price. So housing is still the main driver behind the inflation. So even if everything else completely calmed down, you're probably still going to see some inflation due to housing. So that that's a concern. Um, you know, it's you know kind of trapped by your mortgage, if you will. You know, who on planet Earth would have guessed that high interest rates would be good for the housing market and low interest rates would be bad for the housing market. But that's kind of the situation we're in. The other thing that uh, that I want to just mention is we're starting to see a lot of vacancies in commercial, commercial uh, office space. Um, during the first three months of 2023, U.S. Office, office vacancy topped 20% for the first time in decades. And in San Francisco, Dallas, and Houston, those vacancies are as high as 25%. And I think... We're going to see more and more of this as some of these leases come up for renewal. We know some of these businesses know that uh, a lot of employees can work from home now. So I think that's something to keep an eye on is the commercial real estate. And that, and that was tied to the regional banks. And we know a lot of the regional banks had problems earlier this year. We had four of the biggest bank failures uh, in the history of the country. But all that being said, the market has been very resilient. That's good for our uh, people in managed accounts and higher interest rates, as we know, is even good for some of our existing clients as we've been able to rewrite some of their contracts. Uh, so this is something we're halfway through the year and the market is still performing very well, which is uh, which is a good thing. I hope uh, as we get into July, I hope everybody had a great July 4th. Uh, enjoyed yourself. You're enjoying the summer. Hopefully you're getting some uh, vacation and family time in. And uh, we're, we have a upcoming event. We have our Blue Rocks game. Hopefully those invitations went out last week and you got those. Uh, they were through uh, uh, email. So if you haven't gotten one, please give the office a call. We'll give you the updates on that. Uh, and we're planning our next referral event. We just had a very successful event at a Phillies game for all the people who have given us referrals and are planning our next one in the fall. We're not sure what the venue is quite yet, um, but if you uh, if you want to attend one of our next upcoming referral events, then send us a, a person to come to one of our dinner programs or send somebody over here to see us, and we'll be happy to take care of them. On a personal note, uh, our, our granddaughter Ayana is almost two months old, and she's doing great. Uh, we, oh, as, uh, going back to the Blue Rocks for one moment, uh, we're going to have a tent outside uh, the Blue Rock Stadium on the 25th of August. Game time is 6.30. They cannot allow anybody to enter the stadium before 5. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and we hope to see a lot of people out there at the Blue Rocks game. It's always a fun event. We always have a big turnout. And we're really looking forward to seeing everybody at the ball game. So that being said, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their summer. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call. Have a great summer. Thanks.